charade, another bloody negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlay would control us. And based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. Have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Since Corypheus fell, I think you may have spent more time traveling than I have. It keeps me out of trouble, Your Worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron de Chedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. You can probably just call her Leliana in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. Oh, with respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria is proving to be a woman that few dare to disagree with. She has already won concessions for the Inquisition. You are fortunate to have her support. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Olay. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Tevinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize to Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have a chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council... Ferelden would have the Inquisition disband. Olay sees its power as another feather in a Chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? Corypheus is dead. We accomplished what we set out to do. If we're not needed any longer, and if it can be done peacefully, it may be time for the Inquisition to disband. Thank you. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. 
I will not keep you any longer. I should look around. <laughs> 